wishes can be a powerful thing. Months before the release of the new Aladdin movie. It's a movie that we enjoyed when, when we were children. Tech Bursch planned to take his daughter, Aria. And I was actually looking forward to taking her to see that. But now he can't. My daughter, uh, she committed suicide. Um, and it's, it's difficult to think about that. Aria was 13. Somehow, the pressure of life was too much, and she ended hers one month before turning 14. Suicide is the second leading cause of death in the world for 15 to 24 year olds. That's according to World Health Statistics data. It took the whole family by surprise. And I think it's one of the reasons why I'm, you know, trying to get this awareness with suicide and depression out there. And now here I am, you know, trying to make sure that I can do my best to give people resources and help or just a shoulder to lean on, and a, you know, an ear. Birch is on a mission to help others. He rented out a theater at Showplace Icon in St. Louis Park, partnering with SAVE. That's the Suicide Awareness Voices of Education. Participants will see the new Aladdin movie, learn about mental health, and enjoy a performance from NBC's The Voice contestant, I saw the light. Ashley DuBose. People tell me that like, my music has changed their life. She hopes her story can help save lives, too. I was like, I don't want that label, I don't want that stain. It's a lot for me to say because I've never said it. Yeah, I've never told anybody it would be a crime for me not to like admit that this is what I'm dealing with, too. I have depression. I've been diagnosed, well, anxiety and depression. It's better to let somebody know and seek help than to try and carry it and it's too late and you're at a point where you, you've reached such a low point where you can't come back. That's a message Aria's father hopes will save anyone suffering in silence, a lot like his daughter. I absolutely love that picture because it really captures that smile that my daughter had. It just shows the joy on her face. And her middle name was Joy, so I feel like that picture is like one of the best pictures that just shows the joy that my daughter was. Tech said he wants people to know and recognize the warning signs. Suicide preparedness is one of the best ways to ensure you will be ready to help a friend who may be struggling with suicidal thoughts. And in 2016, at least the latest numbers from the CDC show more than 700 people in Minnesota died by suicide. And while it's something tough to talk about, they're going to have that conversation tomorrow night. Tech was saying if he had recognized the signs, the outcome possibly could have been different with his little girl. Yeah, and good for him for doing it because one of these things that I've learned reporting on this topic too, and I know you have as well, is that when we talk about it responsibly and we say there is help out there and there are places you can call, it's absolutely true. It does work if you reach out. So Yeah, and we've got some of those numbers online for you. Good. Awesome. Thanks, Adrian, so much.